good afternoon students from today's session we will start our next subject that is machine learning so this subject included in third year 2019 pattern of information technology department and b 2015 pattern of information technology department in sppu pune university okay so the subject name is machine learning for t and the subject name is machine learning and application for b so this session will start from the first unit and the unit name is introduction to machine learning and in this session we will learn the first point introduction and example so before start the session the important thing why this subject included in your syllabus so there are some course objectives and course outcomes see here the course objective is uh, you know you should understand some basic concepts of machine learning to apply uh, various problems and also to learn various machine learning types and various machine learning tasks and again another objective of machine learning is to optimize the machine learning model and also generalize it now the next one is outcome what is the outcome of machine learning subject the outcome of machine learning subject is uh, you should apply basic concepts of machine learning and by applying different types of machine learning algorithms you should understand differentiate various regression techniques than their performances again compare different types of classification models then also their uh, rele relevant application then some uh, tree based and probabilistic machine learning algorithms then some unsupervised learning algorithms okay and we will also learn these all techniques uh, by using some real world problems and we also learn about some fundamental concepts of ann so this is just course objective and outcome of machine learning subject next now next thing is reference books so uh, there are ethem applied in this author reference book that is introduction to machine learning the pdf is also available on the net okay this is one of the most useful book for machine learning purpose again the another book is peter fage okay peter fage the machine learning the art and science algorithm and the another book is cm bishop pattern recognition and machine learning so you should refer this uh, reference books for study purpose and pdf is also available on the net now uh, there are some e books and e learning references so we know that there are lots of videos are available on the youtube regarding machine learning subjects so you should complete nptel udemy then uh, coursera ibm this kind of courses so this kind of best course for the machine learning so you should complete those courses and you should refer those courses and books next now the next thing is what are the career opportunities of machine learning so we know that the machine learning is a recent trends or career trends nowadays now uh, there are various job roles like iot architect then cloud architect uh, ai architect data scientist then again there are positions like cloud service consultant cloud engineer then a security auditor devops engineer machine learning engineer then information security manager cyber security architect big data engineer and big data architect so these are the job roles provided by the machine learning concepts and machine learning individuals okay now uh, these are the some uh, companies like there are various service based product based companies they also offer uh, machine learning engineers like uh, again there are some companies like google yahoo then uh, facebook twitter linkedin instagram nowadays each and every field machine learning then data science this kind of uh, concepts generally used okay so these are the just career opportunity and this is recent trends nowadays now so let's start the unit wise points now before start what is mean by machine learning the first thing is what is mean by learning so learning basically has three components that is experience which declared as a e then task which declare as a t and performance measure which declare as a p so e t and p these are the three main components of learning now let's see what is meaning of that so let's take one example the example is spam email detection okay so we need to classify those things into the three parts that is experience task and performance 
now uh, you know that spam emails spam emails is a unwanted emails okay like there are different emails related to the offers related to the discounts right this all emails are goes to the spam folder so you need to classify those emails the particular email is spam mail or not a spam email okay so this is your task the first component is task and the task is classify email whether the particular email is spam or not spam okay so first task is classify the next is experience experience means what user find out regarding this spam emails user find out the particular level of that particular email is spam and level of that particular email uh, it which is not spam generally not spam email generally stored into this inbox and updates folder right so user experience those thing user experience that the spam emails goes to spam folder so this is called as experience reg regarding to the user and last one is a performance so how we can measure the performance we can suppose measure the performance by using percentage means how many uh, emails are correctly identified by the particular system right so this is called as percentage so these three things are called as learning means you should learn a particular system so classify experience and a performance that is experience task and performance these three things are called as learning next now the next and important thing is what is meant by machine learning so we know that machine learning is just a subset of artificial intelligence okay and deep learning is subset of machine learning i will explain this thing on my next slide okay so the term machine learning was first introduced by arthur samuel in 1959 and there are various uh, definitions of machine learning so what is uh, basically what is meant by machine learning see uh, in your life user learn from their past experiences right the particular human can be learn from their past experiences or as per their past experiences they take a decision right so same thing happen with the machine machine also can be learn from their past history or past search history and as per their history they take a particular decision so this is called as machine learning so this is just a definition that is field of study that gives a computer to ability to learn without being explicitly program okay so machine can be learn by their past history by their past experiences okay and as per their past experiences they can predict the particular result or they can generate a data so this is the concept of machine learning so it may concern with the development of algorithms which allow computer to learn from data and past experiences on their own okay next now see here again this is in detail concepts of machine learning now uh, see here there is one traditional programming and another with machine learning right so we know that traditional programming traditional programming means simply uh, c c++ or java this kind of operations we will provide the particular input and the machine generate the output right for example arithmetic operation uh, we have provided 2 plus 2 then machine generate the result 4 in this traditional programming we use different loops different for loops switch cases and different kinds of logics right for example billing system but in machine learning in machine learning we used a uh, data or different data sets for examining purpose for example uh, suppose you should search uh, different products on the amazon or flipkart for example you should search mobile on the flipkart okay so next time when you open the particular flipkart or amazon application it gives you a suggestion regarding this okay means machine learn your history machine learn that you should search a mobile on flipkart or amazon okay so machine learn you from your search history and it shows you a suggestion like this so this is called as machine learning in machine learning we will provide the particular data as a input and also desired result so machine shows the suggestions regarding this so the requirement of each and every users are different requirements that will be keep changing all the time right so machine learn from the pattern machine learn from the features and machine learn from the search history of the particular users so this is called as machine learning
now uh, this is just diagrammatical representation of traditional programming and machine learning in traditional programming human programmer there is a hard coded instructions uh, for example c c++ java this kind of program and we execute those instruction on the input okay for example arithmetic operations and the particular result will be generated that is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 but in machine learning we will provide the sample data for example we will search mobile on the flip card okay so machines study those problems machines find out the pattern regarding your searches and they shows you uh, some suggestions and some uh, related things related items as per your suggestions right so this is called as machine learning now uh, this is just difference between artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning uh, artificial intelligence generally originated in 1950 machine learning in 1960 and deep learning in 1970 so artificial intelligence uh, that is subset of data science and machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is subset of machine learning so this is just structure and representation of those things so uh, see deep learning means deep learning build a neural network okay which work like a human brain and they learn the feature detection technique and features of each and every images and machine learning generally used to learn from data and they uh, use those data for solve a particular problem or predict the result and the combination of machine learning and deep learning is called as artificial intelligence artificial intelligence build a machine which is capable for thinking like a human for that purpose they use machine learning and deep learning this kind of concept okay so this is just difference between this now these are the some applications of machine learning nowadays each and every field machine learning concept is used that is uh, medical diagnosis stock market online fraud detection then virtual personal assistant self driving cars email detection speech recognition image recognition so these are the applications of machine learning so see in business to so study customer behavior uh, which items or which products customer should buy the study of all those things this is application of machine learning then in finance bank in credit card application fraud detection stock market in share market we will use machine learning then in medical purpose also there is a medical diagnosis purpose that is chest radiography chest image or pattern detection then in network optimization uh, on then there is a physical astronomy biology this each and every field we will use machine learning now in speech recognition in robotics okay then again there are some computer controlled vehicles there are different online games are available like playing games such as chess and other online games so this each and every field machine learning this concept is used so hope so you should understand about the introduction and examples of machine learning so thank you keep watching and keep practicing